Should I just set the camera right here in case he decides to do some other vandalist shit? This fucker is crazed because there's wildlife. It's like, well, God and the devils and angels are crazed because you exist, because you're breathing the air. You're using the, using the resources. See him looking here, plotting about my tra chair. He doesn't realize the chair actually slows down the fucking skunk traffic. <laughs> this guy threatened me with a shovel the other day after taking the shovel to the fucking property on this side of the fence out there. You know he's gonna block off the hole. There's probably a skunk under there. It's like if there's a god in heaven, something will happen to this whole cantankerous fucker soon. He'll die of a heart attack or something. His hatred will finally eat him and his bloodline alive. His toxic fucking bloodline and all his toxic little friends. Animal hating motherfuckers. Condone him fucking poisoning cats in 2017. Driving that old couple out of their house and shit for daring to engage in ministry for cats. How dare people care about animals. Ronnie decided he was going to carry a Bible and stand against that shit. And that's what he did, yo. As soon as he picked up a Bible, he decided he, he was... Oh, he's God. And animals are pests. You're supposed to kill them cats. He kills some little kids' cats, too. And the thing is, is now them kids know that. And just like he regards them skunks and homeless cats as pests, and the kids regard old, nasty, cantankerous fuckers like him as pests. Wait till them little girls get old enough to suck a guy's dick and send them off on a mission. Probably be sending one of their young boyfriends after this fucker. Yeah, he thinks he's all that. He's all tough and shit. See him out there flipping, flipping us off and shit. <laughs> This is one crazed fucker. He's crazed with his evil. The evil that consumes his tiny child like mine. This fucker has the mind of a child, a five-year-old child, and nobody's put him in a fucking mental institution yet. Yeah, I'm watching your old ass. Because, well, you can't be trusted near other people's property. You don't, you don't regard boundaries too well. because a skunk dug under his fucking fence. See the fucking boards? And I'm going to put them videos back up about him fucking... Because right where he's at, he put bags and bags of mothballs. This shit went right up into that upwards induction ventilation of this house. It stunk the house up for years. Every spring, I would get sick for months. Just breathing the air in here. The dogs go out in the backyard, go near his fence over there, where he's standing in the backyard. Come in puking yellow and green bile every time they go near his fence. He's just one of them toxic white devils, yo. This is like what toxicity is right here. This is a toxic human. He eats his soul that a skunk might eat a grub in his grass and actually make his grass greener because the, the skunk, the grub ain't eating the the root. You see him making all them signs, I mean hand signs. It's like, yeah. If your wife was a responsible citizen, you would already be in fucking a mental institution where you belong. Because this guy has the mind of a child. He has poisoned wildlife. He sits in his fucking window watching for baby skunks in his backyard and goes out there in the middle of the night. 
and poisons them. Now you see we can't see him, so we don't know what he's doing with that rake. But we'll go out there and film it when he's done, as we know what it looked like before he went out there. Yeah, we know what it looked like before he went out of sight. Uh huh. Yeah. You suck my dick, old white man. Old nasty white devil, white trash. White trash. Oh, fucking one of God's animals might have got a grub in your yard. That's why your grass is so fucking ugly. Because you fucking love grubs. What, are you going to eat them yourself, you old bastard? Yeah, you guys know that that nice smell you smell on a golf course is fucking skunk shit in the dew. And fucking motherfuckers pay fucking... Uh, people to do what skunks do See he's looking because he thinks nobody's watching his ass He's standing there with this show contemplating his his brain works like a little kid's brain This guy for real is dangerous threatened me with a shovel the other day. I should have called the police I shouldn't have to do this in this neighborhood. The rent here is too much. This ghetto trash motherfucker should be living in a trailer park or something since he hates skunks so bad. He should be living in a fucking trailer. Then the skunks can't bother you. Let somebody else have the fucking property that actually let the skunks eat the grubs and the grass grow green. You pay a motherfucker good money to get rid of them grubs and fucking aerate your lawn like some skunks would do for you. Nasty old white trash man. It's too bad your wife's so stupid or she'd talk some sense into you. She'd tell you to stay the fuck away from the fence. Stop looking for holes. Stupid old white fuck. Do something with your time. It's like learn to eat her pussy or something. So that she's not sitting around fucking gossiping about everything in the neighborhood that she knows nothing about. Nasty white trash. Keep expecting them to come back with like some poison or something. Pour it over there on the cat bowls. It's like, yeah. <laughs> motherfuckers talk about other motherfuckers. It's like, yeah, they didn't have these kind of problems in fucking the Detroit area, yo. They didn't hate you for fucking goddamn caring for some homeless animals. This nasty old bastard, though. Oh, shit. It just eats his nasty old white cancerous soul. It's like, fuck, man, die. Yeah, here he comes. See, here he comes. He's got poison. He's gonna pour poison on our side of the fence. What's that he's got? Yeah, that's that's a violation of the law, especially if it's on my side of the fence. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna post this right away. I thought he might be poisoning and shit. Watch out, y'all. Yeah, he is. Poor poison on our side of the fence. Hi there. You can smell that shit from here. <laughs> this is the same guy that threw me with a shovel the other day. You watch me? Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. See, see, how, see how I ain't saying shit to this old bastard. <laughs> I ain't saying shit to him. Look at him. Look at his old ass, he's gonna run over here and attack me. <laughs> now let's go in here, but we can't get accused of nothing. <laughs> Bring your old ass now, come on. I'm in my house. Yeah, you see this old bastard is gonna come over here and attack me and shit. That lady, yeah, yeah, you're, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this crazy old bastard. This is a crazy old man. He should have been institutionalized a long time ago, yo. For real. He should have been. Yeah. 
<laughs> I right, films you committing crimes, yo. You love to call the police. Yeah. I films you committing crimes, you crazy old bastard. <laughs> yeah. I films you committing crimes, you crazy old white man. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you, it smells toxic right now. He poured this shit all over the side of our house and shit. <laughs> he, his woman's just, well, what are you? You white trash, you love to see negative drama? Is that why this fucker's not in a mental institution yet? Because, well, that's where he needs to be. I feel unsafe with fuckers like this living next to me, okay? How the fuck is this guy running around loose? You see, he was gonna come over here and attack me, yo, that old crazy old fucker.